What's going on everybody? We're back with another full complete collection video and in today's little adventure here we're going to be diving in to that sweet vinyl collection. As always before we dive into that you know the deal. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop those comments. That's how we help this channel grow baby. I mean, that's what you want right? You want us to grow. Spread my wings and fly captain. All right enough of, enough of that. Let's dive into the collection. Kick it off with these little small guys. I got this Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, one right here, uh, which is, uh, just has two songs on it. Side A is March of the Resistance. Side B is Ray's Theme. Um, not the biggest fan of the sequel trilogy, but I do love that song, Ray's Theme. And then one of the piece de resistances here is The Haunted Mansion. Uh, side A is Haunted Mansion. Side B is all of the background noise that you would hear on the ride. That's amazing. One of my favorite vinyls. Found that at Disney. We've got ACDC's Let There Be Rock. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. If you want blood, you got it, boy. Oh, hold on. Highway to hell. For those about to rock. Uh, so I still gotta get back in black is like the last like big one that I want. We got the Almond Brothers, uh, Eat a Peach. Great freaking album right there. We got Ambrosia, baby. What a fucking band right here, Ambrosia. Uh, we have this album literally just so that I could have the song How Much I Feel, because I love that song. The Arctic Monkeys, whatever people say that I am, whatever I think the name, I don't even know how. Whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. My favorite Arctic Monkeys album, grew up with that one in high school, is fucking fantastic. Uh, is this, yeah, Favorite Worst Nightmare, another great album. And then we got FM. It's a solid album, too. We got Armor for Sleep. What's the album called? What to Do When You Were Dead. Excuse the absolute dog marks right there. She really got into that one when I wasn't looking. That bitch. One of the latest ones that we just added, Avril Lavigne's Let Go. Heather, one of Heather's favorite albums. So when we saw that, of course we got to pick it up. We got Bad Company, baby. Great album right there. Another Bad Company album. I think this one's called Burning Sky. They literally don't give anything of note on here, but we'll just go with Burning Sky. I'm pretty sure it's what that one's called. We got the Bee Gees right here, baby. What's this one called? Children of the World. I have this album literally just for the song You Should Be Dancing. Absolute classic. And then we finish it off with a little Barry Manilow right here. This is uh, trying to get the feeling. Uh, my local record store does uh, mystery boxes where you can get, I think for like five, seven bucks, it's like nine albums, but you don't know what you're getting. Um, so luck of the draw. This was one of the ones that was in there. Beatles, the white album. Class. I don't have many Beatles albums. I do have to get more, um, but I do have like the big, huge ones for me at least. So you got Abbey Road, of course. It's my favorite Beatles album. So fucking good, side B. And then we got Let It Be. We got Black Sabbath Volume 2. It's just some like off boutique Sabbath one that we found somewhere. The best one though we got right here, Baby Paranoid. Great Black Sabbath album right there. We've also got Master of Reality. I'm missing the first Black Sabbath album, so I gotta get that one. We got Volume 4, my favorite Black Sabbath album. Just absolutely incredible. We got Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Another absolutely classic one. And then Sabotage. Do I have to get their latest one that won 13? Um, and then their self-debut. And then I think I got enough Black Sabbath for me there. At least the ones that I need to. I don't give a fuck about the uh, Ronnie James Dio era of Black Sabbath. Got Blink-182's new album, which I think they just called Blink-182. Again? No, there's no way they just, they just called it Blink-182 again. I think it's called One More Time, but they don't write it anywhere on here, which is bizarre. Even on the side there, it just says Blink-182. I'm pretty sure the album's called One More Time, if I remember correctly. Great album. Seeing them July. It's going to be a good time. Bruno Mars, 24 Karat Magic. Yeah. Yeah, this one's a classic, baby. Uh, chunky, and that's what I like. Great. Man, those are, those are some jams right there. The first Chicago album. Absolute fucking must-have in anyone's collection. We got The Commodores. I don't know what this... Yeah, this one's just called The Commodores. Uh, Brick House is on here. Great fucking song. Um, and it also has Easy. Easy like Sunday morning. Yeah. 
Daft Punk, random access memories. I love how I have to keep looking for like each one of these. This freaking album's amazing. I love that album. The Darkness, Last of Our Kind. Um, I would love to get the, I think they just re-released uh, their first album, Permission to Land, on vinyl. I would love to have that one. We got David Bowie right here, baby. Uh, I think this album is called Let's Dance. Yes, it is. And I only got this album for the song, Let's Dance, because that song's freaking amazing. We got Def Leppard, baby, right there. High and dry, classic. Love myself some Def Leppard. I gotta get more of theirs, uh, their catalog in there. And then we finish off right here with the Doobie Brothers. I think this is another one that just came in um, a mystery box because um, I should have better Doobie Brothers albums than One Step Closer, which I've never even heard any of the songs that are on here. The one pop star that Heather loves that I also actually love we got Dua Lipa right here, the album Future Nostalgia. Uh, her songs are just all jams, man. Just funky as shit. I love them. We got the Eagles right here, baby. I believe this one is, one, yeah, One of These Nights. It's an absolute classic album right there. And then, of course, you can't have an Eagles collection without having Hotel California. It's a must-do. Everyone's got to do it. It's fine. Um, one of my favorite stoner metal bands, Doom Rock right there. This is a band called Elder. Uh, this is the Riddle of Steel. I think this was their EP. Uh, this album is fucking incredible. If you don't know Elder and you like heavy music, listen to Elder because they're amazing. They've also got their album Lore. I do have to get some more of theirs because I freaking love them. They're so good. Um, we've got Emerson, Lake, and Palmer right here. This album Taurus just came in a mystery box. I've never really been a big fan of them. We've got a live album right here for Fleetwood Mac called The Dance. Uh, Heather picked it up because she loves the song Silver Springs, and so this she got this literally just so that he, she can listen to Silver Springs. And funnily enough, this is the only Fleetwood Mac album we have. We do technically have to get some other ones, but uh, not like necessary to do immediately. We got Fog Hat, baby. Uh, this album, I believe they don't even have. I think it's just called Fog Hat, um, but it's got I Just Want to Make Love to You, one of the freaking just fantastic songs. Love it. Love me some Fog Hat. Uh, we go to my emo area here from when I was a kid, baby. We got from first to last, Dear Diary, My Teen Angst Has a Body Count. Listen to this album ad nauseum as a kid. Freaking Sonny before he became Skrillex. One of the best hardcore bands of my generation. We got Greta Van Fleet. This is From the Fires. This was their first EP. Just fantastic. I love Greta Van Fleet. We have Anthem of the Peaceful Army by them, which was their debut like official LP. Their second album right here, I believe, is The Battle. Yeah, The Battle at Garden's Gate. Amazing. And then I got to get their newest one. I believe it was Starcatcher, I think it was called. Uh, it just was never in store. Usually all these other ones I was able to pick up at Target when they came in. But for whatever reason, they didn't get that one. So got to hunt for it. We've got Gunship, baby. Dark All Day, I believe this is. Yeah, this is great freaking like 80s style techno right here. Just amazing. Another one from the emo era. We got Gym Class Heroes as cruel as school children. Listened to this album just on repeat as a kid. Freaking loved it. We got Hall & Oates, Abandoned Luncheonette. Great, just absolutely fantastic album. When the Morning Comes, just a fantastic song. Emo coming across again, baby. Head Automatica, Decadence. Another album that just lived on my CD player back then. Just fantastic album. We got Heart with the album Dream Boat Annie. Uh, has Magic Man on it, Crazy on You. Uh, this is a freaking fantastic album. But not my favorite Heart album. My favorite Heart album would be Little Queen right here. This is freaking fantastic. Barracuda, Love Alive, Little Queen. So many great freaking songs on this album. It is amazing. And we got Heat Waves Greatest Hits. Uh, a lot of classics on here. I'd like to get some of their actual albums, but in the meantime, Greatest Hits are the way to go because they have a plethora of good jams right there. We got Humble Pie live at the Fillmore. Humble Pie, just a freaking fantastic rock and roll band. Just so goddamn good. Every song on this album is a banger. And then finishing it off, we got Jefferson Starship with the album Spitfire. This was in one of the mystery boxes because it doesn't even have any of the great songs from Jefferson Starship that I actually like. Now, I know for someone who says that Led Zeppelin is their favorite band, I don't have a lot of Led Zeppelin albums on vinyl because every time I go or find someone anywhere, it's more than I really want to spend on a used record. 
Uh, but we'll we'll get them all in there eventually. We got Led Zeppelin three, uh, one of my favorite Led Zeppelin albums. This song, uh, "Since I've Been Loving You," is my favorite Led Zeppelin song, and it's just freaking so good. So so great to have that one. We got Presents, uh, a lot of great shit on this one too. I believe this is the one that's got Achilles' Last Stand on it, which might be one of the freaking greatest heavy metal songs ever written. And then we got the double LP of Physical Graffiti, just absolute classic on there. And then we got the live album too. Uh, uh, it's called Celebration Day. This was when they got back together in 2007 for one show at the O2 Arena. Uh, just absolutely amazing. We got, you can't have a collection without the biscuit, baby. We got hot dog, uh, what's it? Chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water, Limp Biscuit vinyl right here. Freaking amazing. Love me some Limp Biscuit. Don't care what you say. Lotus, Hammer Strike. It's a fun little jam band right there. Picked this up at one of their concerts. We got the man, baby. Luther Vandross just hitting us with some soul. Absolutely incredible album. I don't know what this one's called. Never Too Much, of course, because Never Too Much. Great freaking song by him. We got Leonard Skinner's Second Helping. This was their second album, uh, probably their best album. It's so free. Every song on this album is fantastic. There's just not a moment wasted on it. We got The Main Squeeze. Uh, this was, I picked this up when I saw them. Uh, great little funk band right there. Uh, one of my favorite heavy metal bands. We got Mastodon, their album Leviathan. Just absolutely fantastic right here. Blood and Thunder. So goddamn good. But my favorite album of theirs actually is The Hunter. Um, I absolutely love this album. It floored me when I heard it. I just think it's so unique and interesting and just amazing. I do gotta get more of their albums because um, I do wanna get their latest one because I love that song, Storm Breather. Uh, and I would buy that album just to have that song. We got Metallica, Ride the Lightning. The only Metallica album, album I have right now this is my favorite Metallica album. I actually got to see them play this at Orion in its entirety backwards. It was freaking incredible. I will pick up more eventually, but right now that's the only one that I needed, like, absolutely to have. And of course, like, Michael Jackson, you gotta have Thriller, baby. Like, how can you not? This is one of the greatest albums ever made. The Girl Is Mine with Paul McCartney, one of the best songs ever made, like, bar none. It's fantastic. And then we got Mo, baby, another great jam band. One of my favorite jam bands is their album called Fat Boy. Uh, I think I picked this up when I saw them somewhere. Uh, just fantastic, fantastic jam band. Then we got their album Tin Cans and Car Tires. I was about to say Tar Tires. No, Tin Cans and Car Tires. Another great album. There's so many of my favorite songs of theirs on it. Um, and then I believe we got No Doy. Another Mo album, No Doy. A lot of classics. Songs on that one, you should definitely go out and see Mo if you haven't seen them, especially if you like rock music. They are fantastic. We got Flirting with Disaster, Molly Hatchet, one of my favorite Southern rock songs. Uh, just freaking fantastic artwork on that one. That was the only album of theirs I ever actually planned on picking up, and then this one came in a mystery uh, box one day, so I was like, yeah, why not? We got another Molly Hatchet album. The Deed is Done. They're just a good, you know, filthy Southern rock band. We got The Motet. I believe this album is just called The Motet. This is another jam band, just really funky. So if you enjoy some good funk music, you should check that bad boy out because it is really good. Uh, we got Black Holes and Revelations by Muse, my favorite Muse album. Uh, there's so many great songs on this. Knights of Sidonia has like one of the best riffs I've ever heard at the end. I freaking love it. Heather picked up, or I, I got this for Heather's birthday. It was Olivia Rodrigo's new album, Guts. Um, so she's a big fan of that. So we got that put in the collection as well. We got Orleans, I forget what the, Let There Be Music, baby. Uh, we got this literally just for the song Dance With Me, because that's a great fucking song. Uh, we got Pantera, Cowboys From Hell. How can you not? One of the best freaking just hard rock albums. So goddamn good. Uh, we got another old school emo TJ showing up right here. We got Parkway Drive. <laughs> album Deep Blue, one of the heaviest albums I've ever heard. I remember seeing them at Warp Tour and just getting absolutely decimated in the pit during this set. We got Peaches and Herbs, baby. Uh, what's this one called? Too Hot, Too Hot. Uh, Shake Your Groove things on here, so of course, like that's, yeah, why not? We got Pearl Jam's 10, uh, a lot of good jams on that one. It's a great album right there. Of course, gotta have it, Frampton Comes Alive. It's a must do. You just have to have it in your collection if you're collecting vinyl. Uh, we got the Skillet Disc uh, for Fish. I remember getting this at one of their shows at Madison Square Garden. Uh, we also picked up the story, yep, the story of Ghost Fish. 
Uh, obviously, we don't really listen to a lot of live fish just because, like, you know, if you're going to listen to fish, you're going to listen to those sweet live shows. And I think I just said we don't listen to live fish. I mean studio fish. I don't know what I'm talking about. But we do have some studio albums. And then we got Fish Fuego. And then lastly, we got Sigma Oasis. So we got a bunch of those. Uh, we got Pizzazz, Pigeons Playing Ping Pong. Another great, fantastic, funky jam band. Uh, you should definitely give them a listen because they are absolutely amazing. Of course, like, you have to. You have to. You can't have a vinyl collection and not have Dark Side of the Moon. It's, uh, it's a prerequisite. If you want to start a vinyl collection, you have to get that first. It's like when you want to take, like, like Math 2 and you got to pass Math 1 first. Like, you can't do your vinyl collection until you have Dark Side of the Moon. And we got Welcome to the Machine also. Um, I will get The Wall at some time, but those are my two favorite Pink Floyd albums. We got The Police, Zendada Monscada Mondada. That's so, what a fucking mouthful that one is. This album's fantastic. Every great police song that you love is on this, on this album. And some that you didn't even realize that you're gonna love. There's so many good fucking songs in that, in that album. Driven to Tears, one of the best songs I've ever heard. Uh, we got Frizzle Fry, Primus. Uh, it's got some good songs on there. John the Fisherman, Too Many Puppies, To Defy the Law of Tradition. Uh, obviously, you know what you're getting. If you like Primus, get that shit. We got Rage Against the Machine. I believe this is their first album. Yep, great freaking album right there. And then we've got their second one, Evil Empire. I still have to pick up the Battle of Los Angeles. I just, you know, for whatever reason, haven't. Um, but we'll get there. Californication, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Really the only album of theirs that I really need. We got the Rolling Stones. I think this came in one of the mystery boxes because I like the Rolling Stones, but I'm not like obsessed with them to the point that I need all their albums. Same thing with this one. We got Rolling Stones, Tattoo You. I believe this one also came. Uh, but it's got Start Me Up, so that's a, that's a solid song. I do enjoy that. Uh, great freaking album right here. Rufus and Shaka Khan Live. Just, oh my God, if you like R&B and soul and shit, this album's so goddamn good. I love it. Uh, we got Rupert Holmes, baby, Partners in Crime. This is, I literally have this just so I can have the Pina Colada song, Escape. So good. We got Ruby the Hatchet, another great doom band right there. This is their album, Valley of the Snake. Absolutely fantastic. The song Tomorrow Never Knows is so damn good. We've got, I believe this one is just called Santana. Santana, baby. A lot of great songs on this. Uh, Waiting, Evil Ways, so much good stuff on there. And then we got Abraxas by Santana also. This is another album that is mm, just chef's kiss. Emo TJ shows up again with quite possibly the most formative album of his entire life. Is Say Anything's Is A Real Boy. Uh, it also has Was A Real Boy on this vinyl as well. So we get both, uh, both worlds of that. Just absolutely one of the quintessential albums of my generation. And I am seeing them again this year where they're playing this album in its entirety. So that'll be, I think, the third time I'm going to see them play that album in its entirety. And I love it. I'll do it every time. We got Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. Uh, they played a song in the movie Up in, Up in Air with George Clooney and Anna Kendrick. And I was so obsessed with it that I went and got this album just so that I could, you know, listen to it over and over again because it's that freaking good. Um, we got <laughs> Skeleton Witch, Beyond the Permafrost, just absolutely relentlessly blistering metal right there. And then we have the debut album for Slipknot because, you know, you gotta fucking love me some Slipknot. I do have to get some of their other, I do want Iowa and Volume 3 and All Hope is Gone in the collection with those. I don't really know if I'm gonna do the other ones after that, but I want those ones for sure. Uh, we got the S.O.S. Band, just an absolute uh, great band. I got it for the song S.O.S. because that's a great fucking song right there. Can't Buy a Thrill by Steely Dan, my favorite Steely Dan album. It's got my favorite Steely Dan song, Only a Fool Would Say That. Just, oh, so good. So good. Love me some Steely Dan. We've also got the greatest hits. Uh, I think this was, uh, my dad had two of these, and so he gave me one uh, because he knows I love me some Steely Dan. We got Fly Like an Eagle by the Steve Miller Band. Another classic right there. And we finish it, at least this little spot right here, with Fulfillingness First Finale by Stevie Wonder. Because you gotta have some Stevie in your collection because he's, he's fucking Stevie Wonder, baby. We got Gods of the Earth by The Sword. Uh, Sword, probably my favorite Doom, Stone, or Rock band around. They're just so goddamn good. I still gotta get their first album, Winter's Wolves, I think it's called. 
I don't think it's called that. <laughs> but <laughs> I do got to get that first album. Uh, my favorite Sword album, we got Warp Riders, which is an absolute just peak right there. We got Apocryphon by them. We've got whatever this one was called, High Country. Another classic right there. I don't have their last one, Used Cars, because I was not a fan of that at all. But then we got their live one, Conquest of the Kingdom, Conquest of Kingdoms, uh, that has a whole bunch of live songs and then a bunch of B-sides that are really freaking good. Uh, we got T-Rex, Electric Warrior. Uh, great, great album right there. Bang a Gong, of course, a classic. Emo TJ showing up again. We got Taken Back Sunday, their first album, Tell All Your Friends. It's an absolute classic right there. I do like their next one, Where You Want to Be More. Um, but so far, this is the only one I've come across, so I will get that eventually. Uh, we got Talk, uh, the album Sir Nebula. Talk is a great jam band. Uh, for a band named Talk, they don't do any talking. It's all instrumental jams, but they are so goddamn good. You should definitely check them out. We got Tavares, the best of, baby. Heaven Must Be Missing an Angel, Only Takes a Minute. So many great jams on that one. And then we got one of their albums called Love Storm. Uh, just, you know, also a great album. I just, I just, I love 70s funk. Uh, it's 70s and 80s funk. It's just so goddamn good. Uh, we got the Nuge. Ted Nugent might be a goddamn psychopath in real life, but mm, goddamn, some of his songs in the 70s, mm, so good. Stranglehold Baby, come on, so good. So, you know, I gotta have them in the collection. I also got crap, Cat Scratch Fever because, you know, the Nuge, baby. Like, I'm, I'm gonna jam on the Nuge. Like, I don't care if he's a horrible human being in person. I don't hang out with him. We got Tina Marie. Oh, just, this album is so good. The song I Need Your Love In, mm. Mm. And we got my favorite Thin Lizzy album, Nightlife. Uh, just got so many classic songs on this one. And just one of the greatest, just one of the most underrated rock bands in, uh, around. They're so damn good. And then we finish it with The Tramps, Disco Inferno, because you just, you need it. You have, you need it in the collection. We got Tool, Anima, Enema, Anima, I don't know how you fucking pronounce it. Great album though, so we had to get that. And then we got, I believe this one is Lateralist. Doesn't say it anywhere, doesn't want you to know anything, but I'm pretty sure this is the album, Lateralist. Just, oh, my favorite Tool album. Uh, we got Trey Anastasio's Paper Wheels. I picked this up at his concert. I was hammered one night. And we're just like, 70 bucks, Trey Anastasio vinyl, let's do it. And I don't think I've listened to it since then. <laughs> so uh, that's on me. Turquoise Dig Digitonia. This was a great, great funk band. Uh, unfortunately, they broke up and do not play anymore. But phew, Digitonia, what a great album. And there's their album Life in the City, I think it is. Yeah, Life in the City. Another great album. That was our last album they put out before they broke up. And it's a shame. UFO. Great album phenomenon right here. They're another underrated uh, rock and roll band. We got Umphreys McGee, probably my favorite of the jam bands. This is their class of 2014. It's a live album that they put out every year of just some of the best jams that they played live that year. Just absolutely fantastic. Uh, we got their album Death by Stereo. Uh, it's more of their studio stuff. Don't listen to the studio stuff too much, but we still got some of them. Uh, this was their album Similar Skin. This was the first album that I came across when I first started listening to them. So that was my entry point. We got the first Van Halen album, because of course, one of the greatest rock bands of all time to come around. Another stoner rock band we got called The Well. This is their album Pagan Science. Really, really freaking tight. Uh, we got Wolf Mother Baby. I think this one's Cosmic Egg. It's a great album. I want to get Wolf Mother's first album. Because uh, that's still my favorite one, but I do love Cosmic Egg. And then we finish it with Yes's Roundabout. Because, you know, you gotta, this is another one you just gotta have in the collection. Because, or this is Fragile. It's not called Roundabout, it's called Fragile. But I believe Roundabout is on it. Yes, it is. A lot of good songs here on this one. Long Distance Turnaround. Uh, so many great songs on there. You also have Heather's Piece de Resistance, her favorite portion of her collection. That's her Taylor Swift collection. So we've got Fearless. Uh, it's ta that's Taylor's version. Um, we've got Speak Now. I believe this is not Taylor's version. It doesn't say on it. Usually it says on it. It's her version. We've got red, her Red album. We've got whatever the fuck this one's called. This is, this is Red again, but it's Taylor's version. These things are such massive. She puts so many fucking songs on these things. It's absurd. Uh, we got her 1989 and then uh, we got Taylor's version of 1989. Uh, we've got 
lover. We've got, this one is folklore. Uh, this one is evermore. And then I'm not going to go get them because they're all the way out in the other room. And I realize that I don't want to run and get them. But we have midnights. So we actually have four versions of midnights, all the different colors of them, so that they can make the clock that hangs in our wall back there. So, yeah, I just have a Taylor Swift clock in my house. And then we finish with my personal, like, favorite part of my collection, and that is my movie soundtracks collection, because I love movie soundtracks. So we got from the movie 10. We've got A Star is Born. It's a really great soundtrack right there. I freaking love that one. We got Against All Odds. We got Airplane. We got Any Which Way You Can. We got... All That Jazz, phenomenal movie right there. Of course, you know, we got the Barbie movie. Dave. Daisy Jones and the Six. The Dark Knight. Encanto. E.T. Father of the Bride, Ghostbusters, The Greatest Showman, The Heroes of Telemark, How the West Was Won. Ooh, come on, baby. That one fell apart. Kill Bill, Volume 2. Because you just know it, baby. Kramer versus Kramer. Lawrence of Arabia, Licorice Pizza, The Lion King Picture Disc, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Rollerball, Saturday Night Fever, baby. Absolute classic. The Spy Who Loved Me, Themes from the movies. Turning Red. Top Gun Maverick. West Side Story. And last but certainly not least, Wish. So we still have a, a far way to go here with our vinyl collection, but you know, it's coming along. I do this one little by little, obviously, because if I just start going ham on every single thing that I'm trying to collect, I would legit have no money. But here and there, we add where we need. We add a bit every year, and this collection continues to grow and continues to be great. I'm going to keep adding, keep adding some good stuff. We'll see where this one goes from here and grows in the next year. But thanks for coming and checking out this beautiful collection that I have right here in my vinyls. Let me know if there's anything down below in the comments that I should be picking up that you think is a worthy addition to this collection. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.